Hi guys, it's Chewy Doo here, bringing you another great video. Today it's all about my teardown of this uh, Omega Technology computer. No idea what the model number is, I don't really care right now. Um, but anyway, it's teardown, so I'm going to remove everything from the computer. Well, I guess so. <laughs> everything that I can get out anyway. So we're going to start. Let's get on with it. So I've taken off the uh, both sides because... One of the sides is really hard to get off in this computer, I have no idea, but um, it's the furthest side over there. Okay, so let's get straight into it, and first of all, we're going to be removing the fan. Okay, there are four screws on either side, right here on the fan. So I'm going to unscrew them, and we'll get the fan off. So I'll just get the camera adjusted, and let's start. There's one screw out, another screw out, this is the third screw out, and the fourth screw, let's grab this so it doesn't fall, okay that's the fourth screw out, and the fan can sit down there for the moment. And uh, as you can see, I've got the screws in my hand. I'll put them over here. And uh, we'll start unplugging stuff. So, just going to get that. Best. Okay. That's weird. Never heard of it. I'll do this. Oh, these are the things I'm going to get mucked up with. All those goods. So, these will come out. If you can see that. Yeah, there's a... Um, a lot of things right here. Sorry if my hand's blocking it. So I just unplugged, I think they're the power to the motherboard. And I'm just going to do all the like hard drive and um, CD drive and all that. And unplug it all. So there's the CD drive. Obviously these um, old computers don't have DVD drives unless you upgrade them, which they haven't been upgraded. There's the audio thing, which obviously was added. I can kind of tell that because um, it probably would have been turned off speakers, but they probably broke and they fixed them over there. So I'll zoom out again so you can see the whole computer. So I think I've got one more cord, yeah, and that's to the floppy disk or the floppy drive, whatever you want to call it. And there we have it. The uh, fan is out. Or the power supply, whatever you want to call it. So now you can uh, see the motherboard. You've got your heat sink. Um, or your drives and stuff. So we're going to actually take out these PVI. I think they're called PVI. Uh, cables. So awesome stuff. There go. We've got tons of, tons of cords. And I'm actually not going to remove them because I don't want to be stuck there. So there's um, four screws on the motherboard. I think there's four. Not count yet. Four. And I'm going to unscrew them and uh, we'll remove the motherboard from this computer. I screwed a screw in there. One. Just wait, I'll hop, pop around the other side. House by, and I uh, hope I don't block any light from my um, lighting thing. My light. Ugh. Probably blocking half the light, so you probably can't see. Um, I'm just unscrewing the screws, so it's not much exciting happening. Second screw. Third screw is coming out now. And then there's one more which I can get. So you can probably see now. Intel. I love that thing. I love heat sinks. Just make sure the motherboard doesn't fall off. And that's there. And I'll just finish off this screw. Four screws out, and I think 
Oh, there's one more. One more right here. So there's actually five screws. And that's the last of them. Ooh, that one's a bit tough. There you have it. Hope you guys can see there. Very sorry if you can't. There you have it. My board's off. Just falls off of that. Oop, there's a disconnect that. And take off that. Okay. Um, and as you can see, that's the uh, motherboard. Um, just get the camera down there. So that's what it looks like. Heatsink, all your ports, and uh, your RAM over here. PVI slots, I think that's what they're called. Um, that's roughly it. This heatsink is very, very, very dusty. And as you can see, the presses would be under here. I think they say get them off. Oh, oh crap. crap, crap, crap. Okay, they're just brackets. Put them back on. I want them back on. Good, they're back on. Um, so what else came off was a little bracket thing that goes on the back where all the ports are. So you don't actually see all the gaps. It kind of goes on. Whoops. This way goes on like that. Um, can't bother pulling it fully on, so I'll, yeah, put that to a side. So now I'm going to take out this or the sound, and um, we'll have a look in there. So I'll just get over to where I'm working and zoom in a bit, and you can see there's a cord right there, and I'm going to unscrew the screw there. I'm trying not to block the view as much as I can. Simply unscrew the screw and um, the cord comes straight off. There's the uh, cord. And then that goes to the sound thing. Take this cord off and you have the uh, thing off. That to a side. I'll undo all these cords here. I call them information cords because I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Bundle of them there. Okay. Like that. Yeah, close that down. We go for a bike ride. Oh. It's alright, I can edit it out. Yeah. Can I just finish this? Oh, okay. How long are you going to take? About five minutes. We've got Alex. Can you shush? Okay? Shush. Okay, um, now we're going to remove the floppy drive. So I'll unscrew that right now. If you can see that. Yep. I'll just unscrew that. Unscrew that. And I'll do the other side. Um, you probably can see me do it. Drop it my foot or something. Because <laughs> I just walked past. And then we'll unscrew the other side. Actually, I might not. I'll do the other one. <laughs> screws. Some screws are just really annoying. And you're just going to hear a big bang because it'll go down. No, very interesting. This computer's kind of good. Um, one of the computers I always use um, always falls off when you get the floppy drive. The floppy drive. What the hell? The door's still there. That's odd. The door is still on. Okay, that is really weird. Um, Anyway, removing that, we have the drive right here and the plastic casing right here, which just actually goes on there. That's really weird. They've actually changed the floppy drive from the previous one I've unscrewed in. Oh my god, that's dusty. 
This floppy drive actually never worked. Don't know why, but it never did um, when we bought it. So now I'm going to unscrew the audio thing, my Bob. So where's my screwdriver going? There it is. Where I thought it was. And I'll unscrew these two, uh, four screws actually. Let's do that now. Actually, a little bit tighter. They're a bit tighter than I thought they would be in. Hope I'm not blocking too much of the camera with my legs or something. And I'll do the other side. Oh, there's none in the other side. Okay, that's a start. That's a positive thing. Straight out. I'll push that through the front. There you have it. Just like that. And the bolts on the back. Okay, that's really cool. Sound disc. Okay, nice. Is it meant to be speakers? Don't know. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to unscrew is the CD ROM drive. So I'll do that right now. I hope you can see. I'll just make sure. There it is. Look at this um, CD ROM drive and see what it actually, what brand and what it is actually, like what brand it is, I guess. And there's two more screws on this side, like usual. And one more, and then that'll be our final piece. I'm just making sure this doesn't drop or anything. Well, it's actually got things underneath it, which. Nice. There we have it. It's unscrewed and I'll slide that out. The screen might go through the front if it wants to come out. Okay. Trouble. It's a thing. Okay. There you have it. I'll just zoom out a bit. So as you can see, the computer is basically empty. And I have the CD-ROM drive out. It is a 52X Max by no idea manufactured um september 2004 okay that's old um that roughly tells us the date of the computer so it's around 2005 i reckon um so that was my tear down of this omega technology computer um there's the motherboard the cables cd rum drive poppy drive the sound Thing, the power supply, the doors, and all that kind of stuff. There's the casing, and I'll show you the front. I'm here. I'll just move the lighting so you guys can see. As you can see, you have the front of the case. Now, what the actual case looks like before all the tear down looks a bit like this. Yes, I have two of them. This one, um, we're going to boot up and see if my uh, hard drive actually worked in it or not so i'm about to do that and uh, we'll see if it was successful on that one so that's what it kind of looked like and what it looks like uh, now so i hope you enjoyed guys and i'll see you guys next time in another one of my great videos of computers whatever whatever it's going to be okay so i'll see you then and um hope you enjoy your day and i'll see you guys next time